What's going on guys, Ryan with Prop and Gear here to talk to you guys about my Clarity Aloft headset. I thought I'd just do a review on this headset because uh, I get a lot of questions about this because it's not like your typical headset. Most headsets obviously in aviation are your standard over ear type of headset where this is a totally in-ear lightweight design. So it's an in-ear headset. So um, I think it's pretty cool. I really like it and I thought I'd do a review video on it. So to start off with, we'll just go from the packaging inside. So it comes in the case here, Clarity Loft headset. It's a nice, pretty hard case. It also has some kind of flexibility to it. And um, funny story actually about this case, I actually ran this thing over by accident and um, it survived. So it didn't break my headset. Um, didn't screw up the case or anything. I dropped it out of my car and then um, some car ran over it in the parking lot and it's still good to go. So pretty durable case. Great, simple, lightweight design. And then if we look inside the case, we've got a little pocket here. So you can see I've got um, my certs and my passport in here. I think it's a really good way to kind of organize your stuff because you obviously have to have your photo ID, uh, your medical and your pilot certificates with you when you're flying so i just leave them all in my headset bag that way i never forget them because i'm always going to be flying with my headset so that's a cool little pocket and then if we dig into the pocket here we have some of the accessories and some of the things that come with it so um there's some extra earbuds which we'll talk about there's a little um manufacturer guide and stuff so here is the earbuds which we'll talk about in a second you have i think six extra pairs of earbuds, which is nice because you can lose them. So here's the headset itself. I've got a, a little aux cord hooked up to it, um, which is one of the features of the headset. You can listen to music through an aux cord. Uh, it doesn't have Bluetooth, so you can't hook up your phone or anything with Bluetooth. But for me, I mean, I never really use it. I don't know if you guys use Bluetooth uh, while you're flying for phone calls or just for music, but uh, I really like the aux cord because you can just stick it directly into the box right here. So you've got your two standard connectors, the box with a volume knob and a aux input right there. Then you can go mono and stereo mode for the headset. And um, it's really nice because if you use the aux mode and you're listening to music, you don't have it cut in and out with ATC. So it's just over the ATC, which I think is good because I like listening to my music. Um, yeah, like if you want to actually listen to ATC and be more attentive on frequency, you can just turn down the music or turn it off. But I like how it doesn't cut in and out and um, I can still kind of hear ATC and have my music play smoothly. So that's really cool. The headset is very lightweight. It's an ounce and a half. So it's a lot lighter than a normal headset, which I really like. And it just fits over your ears like so. You've got the mic boom, the two dangly earbuds, just like headphones and then the band which goes around the back of your head. So you just throw it on like this and it's nice because you can just throw it on and uh, have the earbuds hanging out. So while you're like sitting around on the ground or like trying to talk to people, you don't have to take the headset on and off. You can just have them kind of hang and then you can throw like one in or both in depending on what you want to do. And there's your headset. So there's no active noise reduction or noise cancellation with this headset. But because of the way the earbuds fit your ears, it's a snug, nice fit, kind of like your Skull Candy headset or something like that you listen to at the gym. So um, the noise reduction is pretty good. It's rated at a 29.5 noise reduction level, whatever that means. Um, I'm not sure what the scale is there, but that's from uh, the Clarity Loft website. And um, overall, it's really comfortable. I've flown three, four, five hour flights with this headset on and I uh, never really had to adjust it. It doesn't hurt my head. I don't get any kind of head fatigue uh, flying. And I, I'm a flight instructor, so I wear this thing, you know, up to six or seven, eight flight hours a day, um, you know, for days on end. So it's a very comfortable headset. Um, it's really nice. You can wear sunglasses over it. You can wear hats, no problem. You don't get like headset hair and you don't have anything bulky on your head, you know, making you sweat. 
Um, so that's really nice. And then one cool thing too, is if you're not talking on frequency very much, you're just listening, you can kind of just have it dangle along your neck and then just point the earbuds in like this. So that way you can kind of just like, it's even more comfortable as just sitting on your neck and you just have the headphone buds in and then you can just hold the mic up to talk. So very easy, very comfortable, lightweight headset. Uh, it's durable, I really like it. It does come with a three year warranty from the manufacturer, which is really nice. So um, I don't know if um, I were to run the headset over and it actually break, if they would have replaced it or not, but um, the durability of the case and the headset itself is really, really good. So that is the Clarity Aloft headset. Um, complaints about it, one thing I don't like is the mic boom is kind of short, as you can see there. So it kind of hugs my cheek really tight and it's like kind of just almost resting on my cheek. I do have kind of a bigger head so that might not be a problem for some of you guys, but I think the Pro model or some of the larger or more advanced uh, Clarity Aloft products have a longer boom mic for um, to talk on, but this one is a little bit short. Uh, it's not the biggest issue, I don't really mind it, but um, that's really one of my only complaints. Another one is obviously if you're wearing something in your ear, the tips get pretty dirty and you need to clean them, but um, it does come with six pairs, so you can kind of just swap them out and um, clean them as you need. And they do fall off every once in a while, but um, not too often. They just screw on, and as long as you're not playing with them too much, it's not too bad. So overall, a really good headset for $525. It's right there with like your kind of David Clark um, low-end light speed range of headsets. Uh, for somebody who's you know looking to get into training, or you might fly you know jets, corporate. Um, it's really nice, especially in the jets for um, quieter aircraft because you don't have the noise reduction. So um, it's awesome in a jet aircraft. In pistons, it's still great. Can be, um, be it'll be a little noisy in a 172, but um, very comparable to any other headset. Yeah, it's not your like Bose, but um, overall a great headset, a great product, and I would definitely recommend it to any young aviators or aviators in general. So um, check this out, I'll have a link to the Clarity Loft headset in this uh, description. So go below, click the link, and check out the Clarity Loft, and safe flying guys. Always sort your full potential, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.